Welcome to day two of Makeup Mayhem. So today I am going to be doing a very requested video, which is a what's in my purse video. This has been requested a lot over the past year because it's been, I think, almost a year since my last one. So I think it's time for me to do a new one. And there is a giveaway at the end of this video, but I will get into that after I go over my bag. So I have... This bag right here, this is the bag that I am currently using. It is a Celine Micro Luggage Tote. So this isn't the large size. It's really weird because the sizes go mini and then micro and then nano. And the mini is not really mini at all. It's pretty big and you could definitely use that as like a carry-on tote if you're flying or traveling or something to use when you're going to work because it can fit a laptop in it and it's really big. So I have the micro size because I think this is just better for my size overall and it's just really good for everyday use and I have it in black. Ooh! Nugs, bless you. <laughs> Nuggets back there, right there. And I think this bag is so gorgeous, but it's also kind of funny because the front kind of looks like a robot face. I think it's a really classic but modern bag at the same time, and it's something that I know I will use for years and years and years. And Nikki, or Nikki Philippi, I'm sure a lot of you guys watch her, she's amazing and she's like a little ray of sunshine. She was like, I could see you as a little granny still wearing this bag, and I think so too. I think this is a bag that works for all ages and it will last a lifetime because they are just so well made and pretty much indestructible. So this is my bag and that's the front of it and then this is the back so it has the robot eyes on the back but it doesn't have a mouth so another thing about the front I thought it would be funny to like stick something in here and have it look like it's munching on something but I don't know I'm just weird I think about stuff like that but I don't have anything in the front pocket so getting into the bag you can see here that there's a zipper at the top which I really like because it just makes things more secure overall and you don't have to worry about people trying to reach into your bag when you're in crowds and stuff I'm really paranoid about stuff like that so zippers are my best friend so Opening up the zipper here, you can see that this bag is very spacious. I don't have it completely filled up because I don't want my bag to be too heavy. But um, I am a girl who loves pouches. I love to separate everything in my bag by pouches because I feel like it's just more organized that way. I used to not have pouches in my bag and I would have to dig through it like it was this never ending abyss looking for one specific thing and I'd be like taking everything out and it's just much easier for me to separate everything by little pouches. So um, the first pouch I have here is just a black pouch from MAC. It's just a little makeup case with some hair on it, so I'll get that off of there. And this has like my makeup in it, and I don't really carry around much makeup with me except for lip products. I tend to go overboard with the lip products. You'll see in a second. I do have my Soap and Glory hand food in here because this is my all-time favorite hand cream and I can't go anywhere without it. It smells so good. And then I have an eyelash curler here. This is my Chanel eyelash curler. And then now let's get into the lip products here. So everything else in here aside from like two things, they're all lip products. So I have my MAC Flamingo Lipstick, which is a really pretty corally pink color. And then I have my favorite lip gloss of the moment. And this is the Dior Addict ultra gloss pearl in color 576 and I looked this up and I think the name is called Sari Pink so S-A-R-I Pink and then I have my Jouer lip gloss in wind because this is just a great nude color that I always carry with me and I've been carrying it with me for probably the past year and then I have my MAC lip gloss in Tour de Fabulous, which goes really well with the MAC Flamingo lipstick. And then I have my Jouer lip enhancer because I love, love, love this. I have gone through so many of these. These are amazing lip balms because they are very hydrating. I think they have jojoba oil in them. And then they also add a little bit of sheen to your lips, which is really nice. And then I have my YSL lipstick in... 
Color number two, Sensual Silk. This is the Rouge Volupt lipstick, and it's just a very nice nude color. And I like wearing the Jouer Wind color over the top of this because I feel like this is the perfect nude combination for me. And then the next thing I have here is my Maybelline Baby Lips in Quenched. And this is a lip balm, so it's just a clear lip balm like this. They come in different colors and they kind of give a sheer hint of color across your lips, but I just have the clear one. And this smells and tastes like lemon and vanilla to me, and it is so, so good. It's definitely not the best lip balm that I've ever used, but it's just convenient because it's in this twist up container, so you don't have to worry about dipping your finger in a pot if you're not sure if your hands are clean, if you're out and about and you don't want to dip your finger in something. I love using this because it's great for when you're on the go. And then, speaking of something that you have to dip your finger in, I have my Lush Honey Trap Lip Balm, and I carry this around with me because I love it so much. I try not to use it when I know that I'm doing things with my hands because I don't want to dip dirty fingers into this, but it's just nice to have if I'm just like at a friend's house or something, and it's one of my favorite, favorite lip balms. It smells just like honey, and it tastes so good, and it's just very, very hydrating. So I carry this with me also because I like using it as a base underneath lipsticks. I find it works really well. Then I have my Bath & Body Works Island Margarita Pocket Back, which is just antibacterial hand gel, and this smells really, really good. And I like these little mini sizes that they have in Bath & Body Works because you can just throw them in your bag and they're easy to carry around. The last thing I have in here is my Burberry Brit Sheer Roller Ball. And I carry this around with me because, first of all, I love the scent. It's very fresh and clean. And I feel like it works well for day and night. And I just like using this as a little pick-me-up throughout the day. So if I'm not feeling as fresh as I once did, I'll just put a little bit of this on my neck and it just smells so, so good. Okay, so that is one pouch down. So moving on to the next pouch, I have this one which was actually a gift from Fleur or Fleur de Force a while ago. This is from Ted Baker and in this one I don't keep too much. I just have my Leo Welly Oily Skin Compact and I love the packaging on this. This is so cute and this is my new favorite compact. I love it. And I wear color number 23 Natural Beige in case you're wondering. And then I just have my Revlon Kabuki brush in there to apply it and I like keeping my compact separate from everything else just because if I need to blot throughout the day I like just knowing that it's in this pouch and it's bright and colorful and I can just grab it and I don't have to dig through my bag and then in the bottom of this I just keep some hair ties so I have a couple hair ties right here and then I just have a bunch of bobby pins in here because I'm a bobby pin girl I have a lot of bobby pins the next thing in my bag is my wallet and this is from Kate Spade it's a black quilted wallet and I just have cards and a little bit of cash in here. Nothing too exciting, just your standard wallet stuff. And then I have a planner here. This is from Target and I like the inside of it because it's pink and black and it has this floral print throughout so I really really love this planner. And it's just a month by month planner where it shows like the full monthly calendar and then it goes day by day where you can write things. So this is really helpful for me because it's small, I can throw it in my bag, I can write down notes and it's just easier for me to remember things and I feel like I'm more productive when I write things down. I've heard somewhere, I think it was from Josh Sunquist in his book Just Don't Fall. I think, I forget what the percentage is, but you're much more likely to actually do things when you write them down. So there's the tip. If you want to get things done, you're more likely to do them if you make a list and write them down. So I like having a planner with me at all times and it's just good because you never know when you need to take notes on something. And then I have a pen, nothing special. This is from a Holiday Inn Express. Um, I think I just took this from my mom's house and I just like how it writes, so I have a hotel pen. And then I have one last pouch in here and it has stripes on this side and then polka dots on this side and it's from Topshop and it was a gift from Elle or All That Glitters 21 and I love it because it's just really small and compact and it's actually perfect for holding my camera. I had been looking for something to put my camera in 
and this is the perfect camera pouch. So I have a Canon PowerShot Elf 300 HS in black and this is a great point and shoot camera. It also does really well with video and it's also great because it has a nice wide angle lens so you can put it out in front of you like this and you can take pictures of you and your friends and you don't have to worry about whether or not you're in the frame because you know you're in the frame because it has a nice wide angle but it's not wide enough to the point where you look distorted so this is also great for filming as well and the footage comes out amazingly well it's very very clear and i highly recommend this camera it's on sale right now at best buy so go and check it out it also comes in a red color and lots of my friends use this camera because it's amazing so my bag is pretty empty as you can see but i do have my phone in here which i keep in this little pocket and I have a white iPhone, so it looks like this. And then I get a lot of questions about my phone case. Whenever I take a picture on Instagram, people always ask me where my phone case is from. It is an Ellen Blair Solaris phone case, and I looked it up once, and I believe it's called Winter Glow, and I love it. It's so pretty and girly and sparkly, and Nikki has one of these also, and we both just adore them. They are amazing and just really fun. And when I'm out and about people always stop me and they're like oh my gosh where's your phone case from because they're just so eye-catching and pretty so I'm just gonna make sure that there's nothing else in the pockets here oh, I have a lone bobby pin and then oh, I have my Disneyland annual pass so that is everything that is in my bag it's completely empty now so now getting into the giveaway, which I'm really excited for. I bought this while I was in New York with all of the girls, and I'm really excited to show this. I tweeted a picture about it, and Tanya was holding up this bag, and some of you guessed what it was, but some of you weren't sure, so now I'm going to be revealing it. And I just got this as a thank you to you guys for being so incredibly supportive and sweet and just being the best viewers that I could ever ask for. So I bought a Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac clutch in black and this may look familiar because I have one in chartreuse and I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorite bags and it's just the perfect size to carry around because you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it on your shoulder, you can wear it long like this or you can double up the chain here. Let's see if I can do it and you can make it shorter and you can just do this on both sides and you can make the strap shorter so then you can carry it on your shoulder and it'll be a shorter length. So this bag is just so versatile and I honestly love mine to death and I wear it all the time. I switch it out with my Celine bag and my Mulberry Roxanne bag and it's just the best size. It is just so convenient to carry around and it has a main pocket here. It has all of the stuffing in it, but it has these side pockets where you can put like your phone and stuff. So this is the prize that I'm going to be giving away and I will send it in its little dust bag here so it'll be completely protected. So there are three things that you will need to do to be eligible to win this giveaway. The first thing is be subscribed to this channel that you are watching this video on right now. So my beauty channel. Just make sure that you are subscribed. The second thing that you need to do is give this this video a thumbs up so there's a little thumbs up button down below and all you have to do is press that and that just makes it really easy for me to go to your channel page look at your feed see if you've liked this video and it's just an easy way for me to verify that you um, liked this video and that you are a viewer so then the third thing that you need to do is leave a comment on this video telling me your top three items that you always carry around in your hand Bag. So just leave a comment down below telling me your top three, three things and that's all you have to do to enter. This giveaway is international so anyone anywhere can enter this giveaway and make sure that if you are underage you have your parents permission to enter just because I will have to ask for your mailing address and I don't want your parents to think that some weird girl off the internet is trying to get your address and come to your house and 
you know, be weird. So just make sure it's okay with your parents. And then um, also make sure that you only enter once. This giveaway will be open for the entire month of May. And that's another reason why I wanted to post this video at the beginning. So you have the whole month to enter. And then next month I will generate a winner and let you guys know who won. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you want to go over all of the rules and stuff again, I will put everything down below in the information bar for you guys so you can read over everything and make sure that you are doing the three things that you need to do to enter. So I hope you all are having a fantastic day and good luck to all of you entering this giveaway. I'm really excited to be giving away this bag. I'll show it one more time because it's a really nice bag and I love mine so much. So this is the bag that someone will win and I just want to thank you guys again for being just amazing supportive people and when I read comments from you guys and they make me smile, you, you don't know how much it brightens up my day. So thank you guys and I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye!